Welcome to live2place.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Uh, dear friends, in this problem I will discuss if there is a change in the concentration of reactants, how the rate of reaction is affected. The problem says that for the reaction, this is a chemical reaction is given in which R is a reactant, P is a product. The concentration of a reactant, of this reactant, changes from 0.03 m to 0.02 m in 25 minutes. There is a change in the concentration of R in 25 minutes. The question further asks that calculate the average rate of reaction using units of time both in minutes and seconds. Well, we have to calculate the average rate of reaction, then we apply the formula of average rate of reaction. Average rate of reaction is the change in the concentration of reactant or products per unit time. Average rate of reaction is represented by R and change in the concentration of reactant. Since there is a change in the concentration of this reactant, we mention dr. dr represents the change in the concentration of R <coughs> divided by dt. dt is change in time. Here you can see that the concentration of R is decreasing from 0.03 to 0.02. That's why we mention minus sign. Minus sign shows that there is a decrease in the concentration of reactant in the chemical reaction. Now we can apply this formula, plug in the values, minus dr. So this is the final concentration and this is the initial concentration. So final concentration minus here we have initial concentration. M is the molarity divided by dt in 25 minutes. It is given here 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Now we can do the calculation. We can subtract this value 0 0.02 minus 0 0.03 is equal to minus 0 0.01. Here we have at the bottom 25 and the minus minus will cancel out. It can also be written as 1 upon 25 multiplied by 0 0.01. 1 upon 25 is equal to 0 0.04. Therefore, it can also be written as 0 0.04 multiplied by 0 0.01. When we multiply, here we get 4.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 molarity per minute. This is the average rate of reaction for this reactant in minutes. Now it asks to calculate per second also, therefore minute is converted into seconds. One minute is equal to 60 seconds, we know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Therefore we convert this value 4.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4. Here we have molarity, it is given uh, minute multiplied by here we have 1 minute per 60 seconds. Minute minute will cancel out. Now we can do the calculation. Here we have 4.0 divided by 60, 10 to power minus 4 molarity per second. It can be simplified 4, 1, 0, 4, and so 2 remaining is this, and so 4, 5, 0, 20. 1 upon uh, 15 we get that is equal to 0 0.066. Seven. Therefore, here we have 0 0.0667 multiplied by this. Uh, we have 10 to power minus 4 and it can also be written as we move this decimal next to 6. 6.67 multiplied by 10 to power. Here we get 10 to power minus 2 and so these exponents are added. Here we get 10 to power minus 6. It is in molarity per second. So this is the average rate of reaction for this reactant in molarity per minute and this is the average rate of reaction for this reactant in molarity per second. Well, uh, students, you uh, hope you understand that uh, when there is a change in the concentration of a reactant in a chemical reaction, how we can cal calculate the average rate of reaction by using the formula. Thank you. For more updates on IIT JE and NEET exams 2017, please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.